and extraordinary circumstances call for an extraordinary measure. I've spent my last five years professionally traveling around the world with people and showing them around my favorite spots. But because of the pandemic, we're all stuck at homes and no one really knows what's going to happen with travel in the future. I decided that I won't be sitting still and watching Netflix where there are still people who want to travel just like I do. We all have to adjust to the new circumstances and change the way we explore places. I've decided to start small, from my own town. This is a place where I had my first kiss, where I went to university and gained all the knowledge that I never actually used in my entire life. This is a place where I started planning my first trips and travels and this is also a place where I returned to after 12 years of vagabonding around this crazy planet we live on. And you know what? I fell in love with this city even more. So let's go and explore, shall we? This is Krakow, my Krakow, second biggest city in Poland and one of the oldest ones in this country. It's a place where you can see hundreds of years of history, where old mixes with the new and the present with the past. City that pays more attention to the stories and legends than to actual historical facts and dates. It was once a home to the greatest minds of science, literature, arts and even alchemy and now is still leading center of Polish academic, cultural and artistic life. It's filled up with the creative minds, the doers, change makers and world shakers who fell in love with the forgotten pathways, ancient townhouses, cobblestone streets and brick walls that hold secrets. It's my home and I couldn't be more proud to show you its awesome beauty. Let's start from the main market square. This is the largest medieval market square in the whole Europe. It dates back to the 13th century and it is over 40,000 square meters of pure juicy history. Nowadays, it's filled up with the great bars, restaurants and shops. And this is also a place where the street performers make their big bucks. But back in the days, this place was buzzing from the foreign merchants as Krakow was placed perfectly at the crossroads of the main international trading roads. This building over here, it's called Sukinnice, the cloth hall. This built in 15th century building, it's pretty much Krakow's first shopping mall. It's a place where all the business and trade was done. Leather, spices, herbs, silk and salt. So we're talking big money, crazy exotic and luxurious goods. Nowadays, it's a place where you can get all the locally sourced souvenirs, jewelry and handmade crafts. It's St. Mary's Basilica. After the castle's cathedral, this is the most important church in Krakow. This built-in 13th century Gothic building holds a lot of stories and mysterious legends. One of them explains why the towers are different height. Story time. This is the legend time. So imagine this place without the basilica, just an empty spot. And there were two brothers. They were very competitive, you know, siblings. Uh, and they decided uh, that they're going to build a church and whoever builds a taller tower wins. So they started building and building and building brick on the top of a brick on the top of the brick and they were racing like crazy. And then what, at one point, one brother turned around, he had a look up and he realized that his brother is so far up the sky that there's no way in, on earth that he's gonna make it and win. So he got really angry and super frustrated and a bit violent as well. And he just grabbed a knife, went to his brother and actually murdered the brother with that knife. 
And that's why St. Mary's Basilica has a two different height towers. Till this day, at the cloth hole ceiling, there is a knife hanging up there to commemorate the brothers and the legend about two brothers. You probably noticed that there is a lot of pigeons in Krakow. <laughs> they became a peculiar symbol of this city. And guess what? There is yet another legend that I know that I can tell you <laughs> that will explain why they're here and where they came from. So back in the days, there was an old king of Poland, a very old and very wise one. When he was passing away, he decided that he will give his kingdom to all three of his sons. And he divided the, um, the whole kingdom into three equal parts. So every single brother can be a king one day. Uh, but one of the brothers didn't like that idea. He was very greedy and he wanted to be a king of whole Poland, not only a part of Poland, right? And, and to become a king, what do you need to do? Uh, you need to pay the fee to the Pope who is in Rome. Uh, so he gives you the blessing and you can uh, become a king. Uh, he unfortunately didn't have money. Uh, but um, he wanted to rule the country. So what you do when you don't have money? You go to the witch and, and ask for some help. And so he did. The witch did her magic uh, and secret magical spells. Um, and what she did, she turned all of his knights into pigeons. And those pigeons, they flew up to the St. Mary's Basilica. They were picking up the pebbles and dropping them down on the ground. The moment they hit the ground, bang, they turned into gold coins. And then the brother came, collected all the money and went to Rome to pay his fee to the Pope and get the permission. On his way back, he was parting hard and he lost all of his money. Uh, so he finally never returned to Poland. And that's why we've got the pigeons. These are actually knights turned to pigeons and they're all still waiting for their king to come back. Now let's go to the other side of the square and see what's behind the cloth hole. The only element from this 14th century town hall remaining is the 70 meter high tower. And this is our Polish equivalent of Leaning Tower in Pisa. Back in 1703, a massive storm came to Krakow and the wind was so strong that it actually managed to tip the tower. Now the tower's tilt is 55 centimeters off center. And I can't personally really see it, but you don't really argue with the scientists and historians, do you? Next to the tower is the hat, a piece of modern art sculpture by Igor Mitoraj. Its original name is Eros Bendato and it symbolizes a Greek god of love, Eros. It has a band over its eyes because love is blind. Uh, for us locals, this is just a very popular meeting spot for our first Tinder dates. And it also serves as a backdrop for photo shoots that we do with our visiting the city relatives. I don't know about you, but I got hungry. I know a good place just around the corner, so well, why not, right? Krakow is the heaven for foodies. Everyone who's been here will tell you that we've got one of the best cuisines in the world. You probably have heard about pierogi. You can get them every corner here and they're nothing else but Polish dumplings. Classic version of a filling is with cottage cheese and potatoes. I know, sounds like a ridiculous mix, but trust me, they're to die for. Now, restaurant owners keep coming up with all the new flavors like spinach and feta, spicy Mexican, or even Nutella. 
there is one more thing to eat that I have to tell you about because you don't even realize. So you know bagels, right? Everyone knows bagels, obviously, but what not everyone knows is that they originally come from Poland. You're welcome. <laughs> um, over 500 years ago, um, they were invented in here in Krakow by Jewish community. And up to today, you can get them here in their almost original form. There you go. Um, to be honest, people who try them for the first time, they don't really like them that much. But for us locals, it's like the easiest um, snack to grab on a go. Um, and over 150,000 of them is being baked every single day for us. And you can't get them anywhere else but in Krakow. Krakow is not all about buildings made up mysterious stories and churches. It's also about the people who are making the history of this crazy city. From kings and queens who were ruling the country from here when Krakow was a capital for over 500 years, to all the artistic beasts who live here today. But let's not forget about all the ones who just smile at you when you pass by. About the lady that sells you the local donut, that guy on a bike you keep seeing everywhere, your friends or even strangers that will always welcome you with a glass of wine or the street artist who wants to tell you all about his works. This city is all the delicious flavors and smells of the foods that someone will cook for you here, the sound of klezmer music that comes from the old Jewish district and the juicy sunsets that you can watch from the castle hill. Krakow is all the eccentric bars, dodgy looking nooks that hide the most pleasant surprises and the unknown that every city is for the travelers. I wish I could show you all of that goodness. Okay, I think this is it for now. We only scratched the surface with this first video. I wanted to cover all the basics, but I promise you that for the next episodes, I've got only the secret untold stories and hidden gems of my city up my sleeves for you. So thank you for joining me for this little video tour and help me rediscover my city once again. That was great fun, thank you. And Thank you so much for supporting the project. Um, and please, friends, stay awesome and stay safe.